It was perfect polo weather, and even before the guests arrived, you could sense the mounting excitement at the Winelands venue as the equine athletes got ready for the games. Socialites and the creme de la creme of African influencers are descending on this very estate to witness international players compete for the Masters Polo Cup. In celebration of the sport of kings, I'm excited to experience all the prestige that is associated with Cape Town's leading lifestyle polo and fashion event. The event drew over a thousand polo enthusiasts and stylists with outfits inspired by a Francophile theme. Michael, it's such a great theme that you have this year. How did that come about? And this year, Parisian Chic really just allowed people to be a little bit more comfortable. We know it's, it's uh, generally really warm on uh, these summer days here in Cape Town this time of the year. Year and year, we try and really spend a lot of time making it unique and different, and that's really what we try to achieve this year. A bright palette matched the summer mood with bold shades of red, yellow, green, and blue, creating an eye-catching effect. The host for the day was actor and philanthropist Nomzamo Mbata, who flew in from Los Angeles especially for the occasion. We are the most sophisticated, most intimate, and most exclusive polo event of the year. So far, the focus had been on fashion, but now it was time for the first match of the day to begin. Field polo is one of the world's oldest team sports and its origins can be traced to games played by the horsemen of ancient Central Asia. The first official polo match in its contemporary form was played in Manipur in India. Hamilton, you look absolutely spectacular and it's always great to welcome you back to Mela. Wow, thank you so much guys. It's nice to be on Mela once again. How have you interpreted today's theme, Parisian chic? I think the theme is quite interesting because it's allowing people to be chilled and relaxed and because it's about just a spunk of uh, chicness. So hence I decided just to a bit of bling of gold just to, to stand out and be chic. David Stompin is the long-held tradition of repairing the field for game to continue. It's an ideal way to stretch your legs and get onto the field. John, why do you believe that this event is so popular with guests? Here we are in South Africa. You know, with everything that we have against us, we've got a beautiful country, a beautiful continent, great weather, great people. I mean, when you look at what people are doing here today and uh, watching such a magnificent spot, you cannot but love it. Ayanda, that smile can launch a thousand ships. What do you think of the fashion on display here today? Well, I think we actually forget that it's a sporting event. We actually take it more as a fashion event more than anything. I think people came out in beautiful colours, um, very expressive of the season that we're in. And um, I think people are just comfortable having fun with fashion. And that's always beautiful to see. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 champions. The charming Winelands has served as the perfect setting for a magical day filled with an infusion of chic fashion, fast chuckers and fine foods. It's easy to understand why this is South Africa's top lifestyle event.